So I'm here with my mom at the Venice Canals before we get into our cooking today. We just came here for a little walk because we used to come here for my photo shoots all the time. And it's literally like one of our favorite places, right? Yeah, it's really beautiful. I think it's one of the most beautiful areas in LA. LA, LA is so, so much. There's no time for anything else. That's so true. Showbiz consumes you. Showbiz like, kills. <laughs> it kills and it consumes you. Like, you're done. Glad to be back again. This is me, Mo, yeah. and my daughter, Marina. And this is our fifth episode with Saga Lu, which we are going to present to you today. It's a more dry oh, yeah. recipe. doesn't have so much curry in it. This is more eaten more with like breads. It's different in the sense that like we start instead of, you know, the normal garlic, ginger, onion paste, we start with boiling the potatoes. And the dish itself is like cooked in butter instead of uh, oil. It's originated from Punjab, which is North India. So it's a North Indian dish and they don't eat so much rice there. They like eat maybe rice once a week. They're eating more bread. So this dish is actually like to be eaten more with the Indian bread. Okay, so I'm going to say something about Punjab. So ever since I've been a little girl, it was my dream to go to Punjab. And I, I have no reasoning for this, but Punjabis are really fun people. Um, they have the biggest, most extravagant weddings ever. Punjab is really beautiful. It has a bunch of like farmland and it's, it's actually one of the cleaner states in India and it's really beautiful. You know, Bhangra, which is a very popular form of dance, uh, originates from Punjab. So Marina, there we have the pot with the boiling water. You need to put the potatoes in the water. All right, all of them? Yeah, all of them. There has to be some salt in the water. We don't really need the potatoes to be really soft. You know, we just need them to be like semi-boiled. In the meanwhile, maybe you can put the pan on. And put butter? Yeah. Okay, so this dish is actually not made with vegetable oil. We'll be using butter instead. All right, let's do two tablespoons of my favorite secret butter. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, so, so now let's wait for the butter to melt. Oh, this is fun. Uh, now you have to put in onions, but there is no ginger and garlic in this. My favorite smell. Can't get enough of onions. And uh, green chilies. Okay. Uh, one and a half teaspoons. Uh, now you sort the onions and the peppers. That looks like a nice spicy onion. onion and butter is like the best smell on this planet i think she might be in the minority with that one because i don't know how many people eat green peppers so uh, now marina can you drain the water out please uh now you add the potatoes to the onion and pepper mix oh that's a flame you're yeah, indian girl i'm just kidding no grilling happening here <laughs> you can put the salt in. Okay, how much salt are we uh, looking at? Yeah, you're looking at like four sort of teaspoon. It's better to keep the salt level low, especially for all the salty people out there. Okay, so now you have to put in the spices and this uh, recipe has lemon juice in it. Can Where's you put the turmeric, all right. garam masala. Half a spoon of each? Yeah. All right, traditional. We're back to the traditional stuff. A quarter teaspoon of coriander powder and cumin seeds we are using actually we're using whole cumins here but normally like it's made with ground cumin powder quarter teaspoon all right and now lemon juice oh oh I see that okay so now uh, you have to soft this out okay. It's nice and yellow, so can you put the spinach leaves in? How many all? Yeah, you can put in everything. Spinach like just melts. melts. Okay, so here's the fun fact about saag aloo. So it can be made completely vegan. I know I used a little butter today, but saag aloo can also be made using vegetable oil. 
So now that we're waiting for it to simmer, we're just really quickly gonna do a quick, nice little icebreaker. I wanna ask you, like, since we've been here in the US for one year, what do you think about Indian food in America? Well, I think it's uh, very popular. Every second person I meet say that Indian food is one of their favorite cuisines, so. What I, what I was wondering is, what do you think about the Indian food that's cooked often in Indian restaurants here? Uh, I, uh, some of them are really good. So we are finally done with the simmering part of this and we are so ready to taste it, right? Yes, we are, mm -hmm. definitely. So, shall we dig in? We should. All right, I'm gonna take it straight from the pan. Mm, the potato looks really nice and soft. Oh my God. It, uh, uh, this is hot. Straight out of the pan. Straight out of the pan. Mmm. Amazing, Amazing, right? I really feel the taste of the turmeric in there. Now this is what I call a No Worries Saga Loon. Thanks for watching No Worries Curry Episode 5. Stay tuned for Episode 6 coming right up. Bye! Bye.